we're going to start talking about trig derivatives and I've written down all the ones that you need that are basic. So let's go through these and there's a lot to remember but there's also a good amount of patterns going on. So the derivative of sine is cosine. That's where we'll start. Derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of cosine is minus sine. So that's not too hard to remember. Sine and cosine kind of go together. The only thing that you have to remember about that is when you take the derivative of cosine, it's minus sine, not just sine. Moving down to secant, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. And that might be a little harder to remember, but we'll see that things start to go, to, to go together. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. The derivative of cosecant is minus cosecant cotangent. And you can kind of already see that secant and cosecant have very similar derivatives. So secant is secant tangent. Cosecant is minus cosecant cotangent. And just like tangent is secant squared, cotangent is minus cosecant squared. So there's sort of only three you have to remember because if you know sine, you know cosine. If you know secant, you know cosecant. And if you know tangent, you know cotangent. Another thing that you can remember is that whenever you take the derivative of a co-function, cosine, cosecant, or cotangent, they all have minus signs in front of them. But other than that, there's sort of only three you have to remember, not six. We'll do a couple of examples. 